there and welcome back to Play As Well With Butter. I'm Jess Larson and today we're gonna make the best roasted sweet potato and cauliflower tacos. We'll season hearty sweet potato and cauliflower with a homemade taco spice blend, then roast them until they get beautifully browned and crisp, stuff them in tortillas, and finish them with a drizzle of smoky chipotle cashew crema. They're totally vegan, but you'd honestly never guess because they're so hearty, filling, and delicious, you're gonna be obsessed. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our veggies prepped. And for this recipe, I love using a combination of sweet potato and cauliflower. So I have a large sweet potato that I'm gonna dice into about half inch cubes and just a really petite little head of cauliflower that I will chop into bite-sized florets. You want the pieces to be pretty uniform in size just so everything roasts up at an even rate. So we first shared this recipe on Plays Well With Butter a few years back, and the fun thing about it is it is one of our first recipes to ever go viral, which was so exciting to me, but also kind of unexpected because it's an entirely plant-based recipe. We definitely enjoy meat and dairy at our house, but Chris and I also love rotating some new plant-based recipes into the mix a couple of times a week. And these roasted veggie tacos are one we come back to time and time again because they're so easy to throw together. The flavors are really good and the textures are so next level and completely satisfying. So I'm gonna transfer my prepped veggies over to a sheet pan while I work. You might see our mascot, Peeber, over here who loves sweet potatoes. <laughs> He's waiting for his. And we'll begin breaking down our cauliflower. It's so tempting to buy those pre-packaged bags of cauliflower at the store, but it's honestly really easy to break down cauliflower. You just kind of have to work from the bottom up, and this is what I mean. You're gonna pull the stem out and expose where the florets meet the stem, and then you can just use your knife to kind of wiggle, and they pop right out. What we're gonna do is just break these down a little bit further, into bite-sized pieces. And similar to breaking it away from the stem, you just work from the bottom up and twist. Totally easy, totally mess-free, and so much more cost-effective than those big bags of cauliflower florets. And a lot fresher too, to be honest with you. These are two of his favorite things, cauliflower and sweet potatoes. And honestly, same. So I've got all of my veggies prepped and you can see they're in pretty uniform pieces, which is gonna help them roast up really nice and evenly. And we're just gonna drizzle some olive oil over top to help things caramelize in the oven. And then we'll sprinkle on a little homemade taco spice blend. Chili powder, ground cumin, smoked paprika, a little bit of garlic powder and oregano and salt. And if you can find Mexican oregano, you should definitely go ahead and use that here. If not, regular Italian oregano works great too. And we'll just mix this together, sprinkle it right over top. I love all of the colors. And use your hands to get in there and work the oil and that spice blend into the veggies. The nice thing about cauliflower is it has all these nooks and crannies that you can get that spice blend into to make every bite a little bit more flavorful. And once it's kind of all tossed together and combined, you'll want to use your hands to spread everything out over the surface of the sheet pan, such that it's in a really nice, even and uniform layer, which helps everything roast even more evenly. So I'm gonna pop this in a 425 degree oven for about 25 minutes until the edges of those veggies get really beautifully browned and caramelized. But in the last five minutes of roasting, I'm gonna add on a can of black beans. And the black beans just sort of add a little bit more plant-based protein to this dish. They also bulk it up really nicely. And by adding it in that last five minutes, we just get to warm them through. So everything is nice and warm by the time we go to serve it. 
Well, our veggies are in the oven. We're gonna prep our chipotle cashew crema, and I'm pretty sure this sauce is the reason why so many folks love this recipe so much. It's so creamy, but there's not a lick of dairy in it because the creaminess comes from cashews. We're gonna add about a quarter cup of cashews to a high-speed blender. You can use raw or roasted cashews, but just use unsalted is the most important thing. And to that, we're going to add some garlic, just a clove. And we have some of the same spices that we used on our veggies. So we've got chili powder, ground cumin, smoked paprika, and salt. Kind of tie those flavors together. To make a smoky chipotle sauce, we're gonna use a chipotle pepper. And chipotle peppers are basically smoked jalapenos. They're packed in this tangy adobo sauce. So they do pack a good punch of heat. And if you don't care for that heat, you can use the adobo sauce that it's packed in and it will just be mild, but nice and smoky. We're gonna add the juice of a lime and roll it out to make sure we get all of the juiciness out of it. And we'll just squeeze that right into the blender and add in some water, about a half cup. I'm just gonna pop the lid of the blender on and blend this up until it's smooth and creamy. It's kind of magical. You'll never believe that there's no dairy in this. And this is a high-speed blender. If you don't have a high-speed blender, you may want to soak the cashews overnight to ensure they break down and get nice and creamy, but that is not an issue here. And just let it go. And blend it for longer than you think you need to because you really want the cashews to break down and get nice and creamy. But look at that. This texture is everything. Look how creamy that is. I swear it is magic. Our veggies and black beans are straight out of the oven and I'm telling you, they look perfect. You got lots of caramely bits and those spices just come alive in the oven. So all that's left is assembly. I have an awesome charred corn tortilla here. What I like to do is spread a little guacamole or smashed avocado. You can just smash some avocado flesh with fresh squeezed lime juice. And we're just gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice over the veggies. Kind of waken those spices back up. Add a little bit of brightness and acidity. And then we're just gonna add some of the veggies straight onto our tortilla. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You get plenty of the black beans on there, so it's super satisfying. And as a nice finishing touch, finish with a generous drizzling of cashew crema. So pretty, I love all of the colors. I always finish my tacos with a little cilantro and another squeeze of lime juice. That's just the perfect bite. Now we get to try to gracefully take a bite out of this when all I wanna do is devour it. But look at that, look how hearty this is with all of that color. This is total feel good food. And here we go. That is so good. I love the combination of flavors and textures happening here. You get that smokiness from the crema and the creaminess, but the veggies are lightly crispy around the edges. And they have all of that amazing flavor from that spice blend we made. This is just top notch. You're going to be obsessed. So head over to Play As Well With Butter for the full recipe. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love these tacos just as much as we do. But before you go, be sure to like and subscribe for more unfussy recipes that pack a big punch of flavor. I'll see you next time.